Today's topic is agonists and antagonists. Pharmacodynamics is the study of how drugs affect the body or what drugs do to the body. Drugs often act as agonists or antagonists at receptors or may inhibit enzymes to exert their action. Mechanism of action, or MOA, refers to how the drug exerts its effect. Ligands bind to receptors. Endogenous ligands, agonists, and antagonists are examples of different ligands that bind to receptors. Endogenous ligands are made by the body and bind to the receptor, which then causes an effect or action. Agonist drugs also cause an effect or action and act like endogenous ligands, but they are administered to the patient. Antagonist drugs are ligands that bind to receptor but block the receptor, preventing an action from taking place. Let's use a lock and key analogy to understand the difference between an agonist and an antagonist. In this scenario, the lock represents the receptor and the agonist drug or antagonist drug represents different keys that fit into the lock. Agonist drugs bind to the receptor and cause an action. In this scenario, they fit into the keyhole of the lock and then cause an action, which is opening the lock. Antagonist drugs can be compared to a key that fits in the keyhole but will not open the lock. As long as the antagonist key is left in the keyhole, the lock can't be opened since it's preventing or blocking the agonist key from being inserted into the keyhole. Because of this, antagonists are often called blockers. The antagonist key must first be taken out of the keyhole so that the key that works or agonist key can then be inserted into the keyhole and then cause the lock to open. A nice example of receptor antagonism is the drug naloxone, which is often administered as a nasal spray and is used to reverse opioid overdoses. Naloxone is an opioid receptor antagonist with high affinity for the opioid receptor and can kick opioids off the receptor to treat overdose. With potent opioids like fentanyl, repeated doses of naloxone may be needed. The euphoria or high from taking opioids will stop upon receiving naloxone. Another example of the difference between agonist and antagonist drugs is epinephrine and beta blockers like metoprolol. Epinephrine is a beta receptor agonist and upon binding to and activating the beta receptors on the heart will increase heart rate and force of contraction. The beta blocker or beta receptor antagonist metoprolol on the other hand will bind to the receptor and block the effect decreasing heart rate and force of contraction. For this reason, beta blockers may be used to lower high blood pressure. Now for review questions. Pause the video and consider your answers. If you chose the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.